I'm extremely calibrated. I'm very well calculated. I can read body language very, very, very well. Why? I've been in the situation more than you have. Okay. And when you talk to a lot of people in a short amount of time, you start to see patterns. You start to see repeated behaviors, certain mannerisms, certain tonalities, certain positioning when they're when their feet start moving away or their body rocks or their face squints or they break eye contact or the pitch of their voice or they lean in or their head turns a little way or their feet cross. Think about it this way. If you worked a nine to five job in a cubicle and you went home afterwards, and you, you hardly talk to anybody throughout your day, and that was your normal work week. And then Saturday, maybe you you just went to the gym and you went home. And then Sunday, you stayed home and watched football. And you just continuously repeated that. How many people would you really interact with throughout the week? Maybe 10. You probably have like 10 conversations if you were like somewhat social at work and the gym, maybe. Maybe fucking one or two if you were like me. You were that antisocial dude. I would have like one or two really short interactions. How much experience can you gain from that? One or two a week, that's 50 in a year. What if I started opening five to 10 people a day? I don't need to have extremely long conversation, but I just said hi to five to 10 people a day. And then I stayed in the interaction. That's 70 people I talked to for the week. How many different patterns and conversational threads and mannerisms? And I would start to see things that I said good and things that I said bad, and I would learn from that. And then the next day, I would be able to make a slightly better conversation, realize, oh, I said that dumb thing again. Then that tomorrow, I'm not going to say that. Okay. In one week's time, I would have 70 interactions. Point being, though, is that I would have more interactions in that week than the fucking loser dude does in a year. And 3,500 in one year is probably more than the loser dude has in a fucking decade or in 20 years. So when you're opening more, you're getting more experiences and you're learning at an exponentially faster rate. So you're going to pick up on all those little body language, tonalities, facial expressions. You're going to get smarter with conversational threads. You're going to start to realize what's the right thing to say because you were asked that question yesterday and you said the really good thing and you remembered it. Or you were asked that question, you said the dumb thing so you know what not to say. And then you know that when you said the dumb thing, their face looked like this. So as a result, you now know that that face is correlated with a bad result. Or you said something that went really well and the person's head turned and she like leaned in more and her eyes got wide. And now you realize that that leads to this if you do this. So the more interactions you get into, the easier it's going to be to see all of the behaviors and mannerisms. That's ultimately how you become very well calibrated and very calculated. And you become better with your conversational threads. You become more engaging. And once you have all of that, it's a lot easier to be socially confident because you know you're better than most people at this shit. So obviously, it's a reinforcing upward spiral that way. But if you don't ever say hi, you don't ever get those interactions. You sit at home watching YouTube videos, reading books on how to get better at communication, thinking you're getting better, but you're not, dude. You're not. You're learning something which makes you think you're getting better, but you haven't gone out and taken action and gotten a fucking result from this thing. With that being said, yes, I encourage you to watch some videos. I encourage you to learn a little bit, a little bit. But then you need to go out and do the fucking thing, bro. You got to go out and do the thing over and over and over again. And me personally, I couldn't do that. I had to hire a coach for him to push me through the fucking thing. But I promise you, once that was in place, I fucking did it. Right. So wherever you're at in this thing, you need to be unbiased, fully aware of where the fuck you're at and look yourself in the mirror and have a reality check. Maybe it's time to make a decision about what the next actual step is and go out and execute that thing. Do you spend hours and hours on YouTube watching pickup and dating content, but yet you're still not getting the results you feel like you deserve? I mean, that's exactly how I was. I spent nine months watching YouTube content obsessively without ever making a single approach, without ever talking to a girl. And the messed up part of it was, I genuinely thought I was getting better while I was watching that content. I would watch a new video, I would study, I would learn something, and in my mind, I thought I was getting better. And this process continued over months and months and months. The reality? I never talked to a single girl during that time. And when I finally went out, I had watched so much content that I was so overwhelmed in my brain that I couldn't even open. Nine months wasted studying content to take zero action. 
Because the reality is, it's not about the content you study. It's about the action, the implementation, and the execution that's ultimately going to get you those new reference experiences, that's going to get you that success, that's going to build up that core confidence and help you internalize the content you actually study. Okay, Studying without execution is literally meaningless. It's actually going to put you more in your head. Okay, that's literally what happened to me. And it wasn't until I finally hired a mentor and was invested, had some skin in the game, had some accountability that I finally started taking action. He showed me that step-by-step game plan, that roadmap, as well as what I needed to focus on this week, right now, what I needed to go out and do and execute. And guess what? Once I had all of those pieces and I was actually invested and I had that guidance, I did take that next step. I did push it one step forward and I did finally start to make some progress, okay? Watching a bunch of content without doing the other side of it is absolutely pointless. And this is exactly why I've come up with my brand new mentorship program, to hold guys accountable, to give them that personalized guidance, as well as that step-by-step game plan for them to focus on what they need to go out to implement and to execute right now. Not watching hours and hours and hours of content to get more in their head, no, 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 none of that, okay? I'm gonna literally show you what you need to do right now just to take that next step. We're gonna hold you accountable, I'm gonna answer any questions that you have along the way, and you're gonna get that personalized coaching that you need from someone that's been through this before, okay? That's the best way to get results in this and ultimately the most effective, fastest process to really genuinely get good at this, okay? So if you're interested in doing this, click the link below, click the link in the description and book a free call with us to find out more about how you can work with me, not a member for my team, but actually you'll work with me personally to achieve your goals with women and dating. Click the link below and we'll talk to you soon. Peace out.